On this week's video tips, we're going to talk about something that is going to be practical to you whether you're shooting your next independent feature or whether you're just the designated picture taker during this holiday season, and that is holding the camera steady. Now, of course, you can have your camera on a tripod, and tripods are highly recommended for holding the camera steady, but you don't always have the opportunity to have a tripod, say, for instance, at a holiday gathering, and also you sometimes need to go for a different kind of shot. Say, for instance, if you're following somebody um, during an event, uh, like if you're shooting a wedding, or if, if you want that ENG kind of look in your independent short film. Even with a camera like this, a point and shoot, my wife, she loves taking pictures. And, and I see her, and I, ho I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, but she'll focus, and then after she focuses then take the shot. Or one thing she'll do is she'll take the shot like this. Both of those things are, are easy mistakes that you might make when you're taking a picture. When you do focus the shot, make sure that you don't move the camera after you focus because you've just changed where it's focused. And when you, when you are taking the picture, you just squeeze without moving the camera and that avoids camera shake. So those are some, some simple, easy things that you probably already know. There are some other things. Think of a, a tree, for example. A tree has a branch, and as it sways, the end of the branch sways a lot more. See my hand here. It's moving a lot more than up top, and that's a principle with holding a camera as well. If I hold a camera out here, there's a lot more sway. If I pull my elbow into my body, all of a sudden, the camera is not moving anywhere near as much. That also helps when you're holding the camera for a long period of time. Maybe it's a, it's a video camera and you're shooting a wedding, maybe not professionally, but you're just the guy who's got the camera. As you shoot, if you're holding your camera out like this, you're much more likely to sway around. And also, if you imagine holding a broomstick from its end, the further you hold the weight out, it's also gonna become a lot more tiring. And when your muscles get tired, it's hard to hold the camera steady. So get your arms in. That's the first thing, whether you're taking a still picture or a video. When your arms are closer to your body, it's a lot easier to hold the camera straight. But then the second thing is get a second point of contact on the camera. If you can, even what I, I, I used to do when shooting a lot of weddings um, many, many years ago, is I would just grab this side of the screen. And that is a second point of contact that can help to hold the camera steady. Again, so if you've, if you've pulled your arms in and you're holding the screen or holding the lens on, on a DSLR, um, that's a second point of contact. One trick that I that I often do, uh, of course, this camera is on a rig right now, but I will use the strap as another point of contact. So with the strap behind my head, I pull tight on the strap. And as I'm pulling, that is a point of contact that helps to hold the camera steady. So that as I, as I shoot, I've got one hand, the other hand, and the strap holding the camera steady. So those are all things that you can do even without any added gear. But there is some extra gear that will help you to hold the camera steady. Say for instance, there's a whole pile of different um, rigs, they're called, on the market. And rigs can be, you know, a little piece of metal that give you an extra added grip. They can be something big like this. This is a, actually a Steady Freddy from camcrane.com and it lets you hold a lot of extra things, say for instance, if you have a screen like this small HD screen, excellent LCD screen, um, if you've got lights that you need to attach or an extra microphone, what this particular one allows you to do is keep your arms in close to your body and yet still have the camera a little bit further in front. So you've got those two points of contact and you can hang any other things that you need on the top and move the camera around like this. It helps to keep the camera steady. And I think it's it's great if you have a camcorder, something that focuses really easily. Um, but what happens if you have a DSLR 
is sometimes you need to adjust the focus. And this is very heavy on this arm to go adjust the focus. Not terribly practical. So that's where a shoulder rig comes in. This shoulder rig from Indy System, the air support, is amazing and amazing value. What you're going to see in most shoulder supports is some kind of a rail system. And what the rails do is they let you attach various things that hold different parts of, of the camera and are adjustable. Say, for instance, um, at the back, I have a, a bar here that goes out to something that I can put on my shoulder. So there's my point of contact and also something that lets me rest the weight of the camera on, on the back. Then as well, you'll notice that there is a little focus ring here that comes down to a thumb controller at the bottom. So I can actually physically control the focus of the camera with my thumb. So that means that I can be carrying the weight with my arms, even press them again into my body. I can have an extra point of contact up here on my shoulder, also carrying the weight, and yet still adjust the focus. Now, unfortunately, with most shoulder rigs, if you want to adjust the zoom, you're stuck. You got to still pull it from up here. But with this as an example, at least you've got two other points of contact and two other points that are carrying the weight when you move your one hand up here to adjust things. But this way, with a shoulder rig like this, you can hold the camera in an incredibly st stable way and also hold it for a long period of time without getting tired. DSLR cameras are awesome. Um, they're amazing pieces of equipment, but uh, it can be harder to control the focus because there's a more shallow depth of field, which often we want when we're, when we're pursuing um, film projects, when we want to imitate that film look. But you have to have a way to control the focus as you're holding it steady. The other thing is that they don't have a lot of the same uh, stabilization built in as, as camcorders have. Camcorders often have great optical stabilizers. Um, even though you've got IS or, or VC or, or whatever the manufacturer calls it for different kinds of DSLR lenses, it's just not the same as, as camcorders can do. And that's why something like this shoulder rig from Indy System, uh, the air support for actually only $399 is an excellent, excellent piece of equipment. They actually have attachments. You can uh, you can change this here to be pressing against your chest. Some people like that sort of gun kind of of uh, of control pressing against you. For me, I like the weight to actually be on my shoulder. Um, but no matter which one you do, it's it's adjustable. You can also adjust it to your your size very easily. These easy thumb knobs let you uh, not only adjust it really easily, but also collapse it when you're done. So this shoulder rig from Indy System is an excellent one and excellent value. I highly recommend it. Um, and like I said, only $399. I found shoulder rigs going up as high as $1,200, $1,500. And this one has the, the, the follow focus built in to that price, so excellent, excellent value. The Steady Freddy is a great value as well, though, as I said, more practical for a camcorder. If you have a DSLR, I would suggest paying the extra money and getting something with that follow focus built in. So to recap, when you're holding any kind of camera, whether it be a digital still camera or a camcorder or a DSLR, you've got to get your arms in the center of gravity towards your own. You've got to go from additional points of contact if it's heavy over a long period of time, you've got to make sure that you've got some other kind of support. And if it's just a camcorder, which camcorders are great for following focus easily, you can go for a physical cage on its own, like this Steady Freddy from camcrane.com, which inc incidentally is only $199. Not as practical for a DSLR. If you have a DSLR, you need something with a follow focus. And for price, I don't think you can beat this one from indiesystem.com. The air support, $399 and you've got the follow focus built in. This is Gray Jones from tvwriterpodcast.com. want to thank our sponsors of this week's video tips, camcrane.com, Comely Productions, makers of the Steady Friday, also the Comely Crane, and also indiesystem.com, makers of the air support, and lots of other things like jibs and sliders. Go check them out. Until next time, happy shooting!